Welcome guys to the Crazy Hands Knitting and Crocheting channel. In this video tutorial, I want to show how to knit this really cute and really easy lace beanie for newborn. So let me show you how it looks. I didn't wash it, but look at the lace. The pattern is really, really easy and my model has the head circumference about 41 centimeters and still it fits well. So 41 centimeters, it is about four months, four, six months baby. If you want to get a bigger size, you don't need to change your pattern, just uh, use a bigger knitting needles. The main pattern is really stretchy, so as you see, it will fit even bigger size. The head is done for the head circumference 38-39 cm for newborn, but as you see, even after, the baby can go on wearing it. So let's talk about materials. For the cast on, only to cast on, I use 3.5 millimeters knitting needles to cast on just. And for the hat, for the ribbon and for the main part, uh, I was using 3 millimeters, 3 millimeters knitting needles. Using bigger size at the beginning will help you make the edge more stretchy. At the end, for the crown, I switched to double pointed needles, up to you, you decide. And regarding the yarn, I was using Chinese yarn, a sport weight yarn, please check the photo after. And for ties, I was using um, hook, if you don't know how to work with hook, you can need an eye cord at the end. Using 3.5 mm knitting needles and long tail cast on method, cast on 72 stitches. You can cast on any number that will be divisible by 5 plus 2 salvage stitches. And we will start with ribbon. Simple ribbon, need one pearl one. So slip the first stitch. It is a salvage stitch, and then start knitting. Knit one, pearl one. And please pay attention. I am using now already three millimeters knitting needles. Pearl one, knit one, pearl one, knit one, pearl one. And so on till the end. Need one pearl one. Go on, and I will see you at the end. Okay, finish the first row. And pearl the last, also salvage stitch. Turn. And now go on repeating row number one. Slip the first stitch, knit one, pearl one, knit one, pearl one. Okay. 
need one pro one. So finish this row and go on repeating. So in total need seven rows of ribbon or until ribbon reaches 2.5 or 3 centimeters. Please go on. So here I am, seven rows. We needed an odd number because we want to be on the right side now. So this is the right side. And now we will need the main pattern. So we start with the border, slip the first stitch and knit first five stitches. We will need them on the right side and on the wrong side at the end and at the beginning. After that we start the main stitch pattern. Purl 1, knit 3 and purl 1. And we are going to repeat these 5 stitches till the end. Purl 1, knit 3 Purl one and again purl one knit three purl one this is the first row the main pattern there will be in total four rows please go on repeating until you have six stitches at the end and last five stitches, as at the beginning, we need them, need five, and always purl the last salvage stitch. Turn. Row number two, slip the first stitch, and again, need five. After that, knit all knits and purl all purls. So you see knit stitch you needed. Knit one. After that, purl three. And knit one. And let's repeat again. Last five stitches. Knit one. Purl three. Knit one. Once more, knit one, purl three, knit one. Please go on again until you have six stitches at the end. At the end, knit five, And throw the last salary stitch. Great turn. Row number three, slip the first stitch. One, two, three, four, five. Knit five. And now, purl one, yarn over. After that, knit three together. So slip the first stitch, knit two together, and slip the first stitch over the second one. So like this, we did a knit three together. Now again, yarn over, purl one. And that's what we are going to repeat. So again, purl one, yarn over, after that knit three together, and you do it like slip the first stitch knit twice, then knit two together, then slip the first stitch over the second one. Yarn over again and purl one. 
Let's repeat again. Pearl one, yarn over, don't forget about yarn over, slip, knit two together, pass over, don't forget, yarn over, and pearl one. And this is this beautiful holes already. Once more. Pearl one, yarn over, slip, knit two together, hold the yarn over with your index finger. If you are knitting in the same way as I'm doing, knit two together, slip over, yarn over, pearl one. Please go on repeating again until you have six stitches at the end so that's what i have now knit five and draw the last survey stitch row number four the next row and the last row after that we will repeat the pattern will be the same as row number two but let me show you how to knit yarn over stitches. Slip the first stitch, knit five. So this is the border. So now knit one. After that, purl three. You see yarn over, then the central stitch, and one more yarn over. So just purl all stitches. Purl three and knit one. Let's do it again. Knit one, pearl three, knit one. And once more, knit one, pearl three. Knit one. Please go on repeating till the end. So at the end, knit five, and draw the last sewing stitch. Turn. So that's it. Now we are going to repeat. From the first row, let me start. Keep the first stitch, knit five. After that, row one, knit three. Row one. And again. Row one, knit three, row one. Let's repeat one once more. Row one, knit three, row one. So that's what we have. Go on repeating last four rows until the head from the edge reaches 11 centimeters. So here I am, and that's what I have. Let's measure first of all. So 11 centimeters, a little bit more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. After the ribbon, I've done in total uh, 28 rows. So uh, I will measure you the width, but you know, it's stretchy really, but in any case, if you're using another yarn, so it's 29 centimeters.
and now we will start we will join knitting and we will knit in round so slip the first stitch knit two and here i want to decrease one stitch so let's knit one more in total knit three so knit three and after that knit two together I want to get in total 70 stitches so we decrease one stitch now and then we, we will decrease one stitch at the end when we will join to knit in rounds now knit all other stitches till the very end so we don't follow the pattern now ready just knit all stitches and I will see you at the end so now the first and the last stitch we join in round knit them also together first and the last stitch knit two together Like this and you can place a stitch marker if you want you can switch to double pointed needles and now on your needles exactly 70 stitches so it will be better to shape the crown now we need one more round And from the next round we will start making decreases so divide all stitches in seven parts and now knit eight you can place stitch markers if you want knit eight and stitch number nine and ten knit two together And let's repeat knit eight one two three four five six seven eight knit eight and knit two together once more one two three four five six seven eight and knit two together go on repeating decreases till the end knit eight knit two together knit eight knit two together in the next round there will be no decreases just knit all stitches around please go on knitting till the end round number three for the crown again we will make decreases now knit seven and knit two together Let's repeat again. Knit seven. Knit 
and knit two together. Perfect. So go on repeating. Knit seven, knit two together, knit seven, knit two together till the end. Next round, no decreases. So we will knit all stitches around. So finish this round. After that, in the next round again make decreases. Knit six, knit two together. Knit six, knit two together. Knit six, knit two together. After that, one round without decreases. Then knit five, knit two together. Then knit four, knit two together. Knit three, knit two together. Please check the written instruction if you need on my blog. Your last round will be knit one, knit two together, knit one, knit two together, and then I will be back and show you how to finish. So we did knit one, knit two together, knit one, knit two together. After that don't don't do round without decreases. You don't need it. And right away, knit two together all the way around just to finish the crown. Knit two together. Knit two together. Knit two together. Knit two together. And also from this side. Perfect. Now cut the yarn. And thread the tail through remaining stitches. Oops. And last two. Great. Now pull tight the tail. Close the crown. Through the center. On the wrong side. Make a small knot. So it's really tiny one. You will not even feel it. And weave an end.
and cut the yarn. Now ties. If you want, I will leave you a video tutorial of how to knit an eye cord if you don't know how to use a hook or you don't have a hook. I'm going to use 2.5 millimeters crochet hook. And just attach the yarn somewhere here in the corner. And chain desired length. So I'm going chain I'm going to chain 40 or 20 centimeters. So chain 40 let's measure about 20 21 centimeters. And starting from the second chain from hook make a slip stitch in each chain across like this So at the end, join with slip stitch into the next stitch here. Chain one and cut the yarn. After that, weave in all ends. Please repeat for the second tie and you're done. Don't forget to wash your head. Don't forget to weave in all ends. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm going to need also a matching boots or socks using the same stitch pattern. So stay tuned if you are interested in this cute set. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you soon in my next video tutorials. Have a good day and bye for now.